Welcome back to the podcast. Today's topic, we are talking about hoping versus trying. Oh, yes, I love this one. Welcome to the Shift Happens podcast about navigating the lighter side of life's challenges. I'm Robin McIntyre, Certified Life and Transitions Coach. And I'm Monique Eckes, a question asker. Here for the audience. Yes, I'm pretending to be you, asking all the questions I know are on your mind as you listen to these podcasts. <laughs> and reining me in. She's, oh. a, she's a rainer in her, also. Uh, so, hoping versus trying. Let's expand on that a bit. Well, what I love about this is you had brought this up a while back during coaching. And I just think it's a great thing to be aware of in those words. Like, what is the difference between hoping and trying? Yeah. And then I hear Yoda back there about there is no try. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, so when we're hoping, it's like, oh, well, that would be nice. Uh -huh. Or, oh, I wish I could have this. Or I wish I ate better. Or I wish, you know, I've always said, I wish I loved running. <gasps> right. Do you know? Yeah. Like, loved it. Oh. Um, so wish, what, what kind of things can you say you, you say, oh, I wish and stuff. Oh, well, my example was, oh, I wish I could lose weight. I hope I lose weight. Yeah. Oh, I hope I get to these goals. Yeah. So hoping, wishing. Hoping and wishing kind yeah. of are the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope I make my, you know, revenue goals for the year. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And we all do so it. Passive. Normalize. Yes. <laughs> and I was just kept thinking about this in myself, like, wow. It doesn't feel like I'm in action. Yeah, and if you know? that's a great, again, self-awareness comes in, right? You're just, you're not frustrated that nothing's happening. You just go, oh, maybe nothing's happening because I'm hoping and wishing. Hoping and wishing, well, yeah. what's that? And we all do, we all do it, that's, right? That's a good point. Yeah, we all do it. Um, and it's, there's so many levels to it, right? Like, are we serious enough? Is it a real goal? There's all these reasons why we still might be wishing and hoping. But if you're serious, and like you were when you came with that, um, we're going to talk about the difference. So trying, at least when we try, um, we have a plan. We ha we're starting to do an act. We've, we've acknowledged that there's that we want more. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing is, okay, well, what is it going to look like? What do we need to plan? And then commit to it. And committing to me always means where is it going on your calendar and in your life, mm -hmm. which isn't easy, right? No. <laughs> but I think one of the biggest things that deters that is, well, as soon as the kids are done getting married or as soon as the kids are out of the house or as soon as yeah i all the things yeah i bet you you're coming up with your own list as we say this mm -hmm. if you're listening mm -hmm. yeah uh, so then the kind of we're, we're coming up with our own definitions here okay <laughs> um uh, wishing and um hoping oh that would be nice yes versus trying making a plan a decision but you brought it even a deeper level like you always do when it's more about oh identity identity yeah more about identity so there's so much to that so if you ever been let's i'm going to give the example again thanks for bearing with me <laughs> uh personal training yeah talking to people about exercise that have never really had it in their life like they have not had it as a routine right it's a little foreign but it's so easy to think about, oh, well, those people over there, mm -hmm. they're the type of people yes. that go to the gym. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Or the healthy eaters over there. You can go on and on. People with money do that. Mm. So we're automatically excluding ourselves from what we really want by saying, oh, that's not me. That's identity. Yeah. When you say that's not me. Yes. That's an identity yes. thing. Like. It's that just was puzzle pieces put together for me. And it's so true because it could be so easy to say, well, you know what I used to say? Hmm. Okay, so I'm not an exercisey person. It's so, that's, that's even a friendly way to say it, right? You, you're, oh, not, yeah. you're not knocking the people that like to go to the gym every uh -huh. day. You're also not telling yourself, well, I should. Uh -huh. You're just, you just it, see yourself as not an exercisey person. Yeah, so you're that, labeling, right? It wasn't the identity I wanted, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm it not an exercisey person. So with working with you, I was like, well, could I be? So good. You know, yeah, like curiosity. exercise doesn't have to be going to the gym. It right. doesn't have to be running. Right. There's so many other ways to look at it. But you got curious. Yes. And that's when your brain went, oh, oh. I have a kayak. I think that would be fun. Oh, my gosh. And all the yeah. things you started doing that were, you were like, okay, I am moving. I am using my muscles. Yeah. I'm just not going to the gym. 
Yeah. So it is definitely, the identity piece is so huge for all of us, for every topic, for every goal. If you have not been that person up to this point, it's a really good thing to say, okay, Gosh. you know, I think I've said all this time, I'm not an exercisey person. Yeah. But that's not serving me. So what can I do to change that? Oh my gosh. And you know what? I had almost forgotten I used to say that. And I've said that for decades. That's something. I'm just not an exercisey person. And, you know, so I guess that wasn't a big enough goal for me. Right. <laughs> but, you know, I was also just kind of wishing and hoping that I would lose weight. And when I get into those, we have another podcast about losing momentum. You know, I lose momentum like, oh, well, I just, I hope I lose weight. <laughs> Like, it was so passive for me. Right. And and just, again, to normalize that, Monique, because yeah, you're okay. not alone in that at okay. all. Yeah. yeah. But for me, it was like a, a moment for me to go, yeah. oh, oh, because I'm only wishing. And I'm telling myself I am this person who can't make this happen. Yeah. And there's no right? way. There's no way your brain uh -uh. will help you mm -mm. if that's what it believes. That is what is so important about checking in on your beliefs. We might be carrying beliefs that we've had all our life. Yeah. We don't even know where they came from. And if we check a lot of them, they're not even true. They maybe used to be, they maybe weren't at all. But the best thing is if you can find out that that's part of your obstacle getting in the way of what you want, it's so fun. We've had those moments. Oh my like, gosh. Ah, you know. Right? Yeah. Oh, it, it's, I don't know. I just, I just really love this. So I, this was kind of my idea for a podcast topic because it just made such a difference for me this last spring, a few months ago, when I really changed that and started saying, oh, I'm a person who can hike two miles at a time. No problem. Yeah. It's, you know, you start seeing yourself that way. And what, mm -hmm. what else is so great? You key, every time you go hiking and you do that two miles, there's just more evidence for you to say, oh, I am this person, I am this person. True. It is so much fun. <sighs> every time you show up for yourself, there's more evidence. It, mm -hmm. and, it's, and then plus, it's getting easier, so your brain's not gonna fight you as hard. Right, okay. because they're like it's it's saying, oh, this is this is how she's rolling now. Yeah, catch up to speed. <laughs> you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I've seen that happen for me. Yeah, you know, the totally. back of my brain's oh, not money. saying that anymore. Like, oh no, you can't do that. And the more I do it, the more I'm convincing the back of my brain, like, oh, okay. like you just said, yeah, I can do that. And you've said yeah. before, I love the way you, you've simply said, success begets success. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. You know, the, well, if I can do that, what else can I do? I love that thought. <gasps> yeah. Have you, have you, have, when's the last time you practiced that thought? Ooh. When you actually have a really good win and remember to recognize it and stop and yeah. celebrate it. That's when you can get curious and go, wow, what else can I do? So true. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. So it's interesting how that thought that I'm not an exercisey person doesn't even enter my brain anymore. Yeah. See? Oh my gosh. That means you're not her anymore. Oh my gosh. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's, oh. it's so true. Um, I've done that with being the CEO of my business. Yeah. I used to look at other people and say, oh, they're so organized and they're, they're so they're so disciplined. And I was going to coffee whenever I felt like it. And just, I had to bring it in. If I was gonna see myself as the CEO uh, of my business, the same thing. I just had to say, wait a minute, who is, what does the CEO do? Mm -hmm. How is she being? How is she showing up? So, so many of these things, again, energy, identity, yes. self-awareness, it just keeps coming up for everything. Mm -hmm. If you want to start trying, and we're saying trying first because you become yep. a doer then after yep, that, course. right? Mm -hmm. But we start with trying and getting your wins from the trying. You oh, I love that. Um, one of the things that we did that we'll, we'll probably talk about a little bit more in the action step was when I was thinking about identity. Yeah. Who do I want to be today is the question I have on my mirror. What tripped me up on that was I felt like I had to choose one thing for my identity. I remember that. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, it could just change every day. Yeah. Or it could be the same every day. I'm yeah. like, oh, that was really a, a, another aha <laughs> with you is, you know, who do I want to be today? And it could be, you know, I want to be someone who hikes two miles. Yeah. You it know? Can, that's And that question you can ask anytime, all day. Who do oh, I yeah. want to be right now? Yes. You know, what do I, how do I want to show up to this meeting? Yeah. How do I want to show up with my dear friend that needs me right now? Yes. It's always the question, how do I want to show up? What do I, you know, who do I need to be? Staying in authenticity, right? We want to be ourselves, mm -hmm. but it's permission to stop long enough to go, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, like you're switching modes. Mm -hmm. Who do I want to be right now? Who do I need to be right now? Yeah, like when I show up to the studio, 
um, I, I want to be the CEO of my business. Yeah. You know, so I've started um, uh, taking that on as well. I'm the CEO. Uh, You're in, I and I want to say this really quick. So for instance, when I'm coming to do podcasts with Monique, she is very professional. I come in, the camera is already set up, the lights are already set up, and she moves stuff all the time. So this is not like this is already ready. She has our stuff up on the board for us, and we. she keeps me on task. So you are a very organized oh. podcast coach as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and it's so much of it is all the things that we talk about on this podcast. Yeah. You know, when I'm driving into work, I'm thinking about, okay, I need to switch gears into to this, you know, in, in 15 minutes, I'm going to step into the CEO of the podcast studio, right? And, and do that. So all, all of this kind of wraps together. We talk about that all the time yeah. with this podcast. So many of these topics come together. Yeah. And it's all, oh my gosh, it's, I'd say, oh, it's this umbrella. Oh no, it's under this umbrella. <laughs> but self-awareness is really the umbrella. It is. I think. Yeah. And the identity piece, because we talk about choice, mm -hmm. that we have choices and sometimes we forget that. Absolutely. We do. I forget like, oh, well, I guess I'm just not an exercisey person. Yeah. Well, I can choose. <laughs> to have a different identity. Don't you love that? I it's, do. Yeah. And that's why your brain freaks out, by the way. Okay. The brain likes your identity just the way it is, <laughs> right? It, it's comfortable. It's, yes. It's, it knows what to expect. It's easy. Gotcha. So yeah, that is the, <laughs> the other piece about identity is for us to get to the next level of whatever we want to do, yeah. we kind of have to trade in some old stuff for some new stuff. Yes. And that's where the resistance and the brain and all the self-doubt and all the things come in. Gotcha. So when we're trying, though, okay. when we're trying, we stay aware of it. Yeah. And keep on the plan. You just stay with your plan. Mm -hmm. You've got a, a great quote by someone that you admire to share. Yes. Danelle Delgado, you'll just have to look her up yourself. She's just amazing. And I love it. She says, be the person that your results require. And I'm going to say that, that I think that's right, but it might be off a touch. Could be a summary. Could be a summary. Okay. But I, every time I hear her say that, I'm like, wow, I, that just encompasses yeah. all of it. Yeah. Like, if this is what I want, who do I have to be? Right? Basically. That's cool. Yeah. I love that. Okay. okay. Me too. So we have a couple more things to share with you, but we need to do our sponsor break. Yes. Robin's our sponsor. Thank you so much. <laughs> the variety in sponsors is amazing. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I am here to talk to you about my Spark Session Plus, and this is a 90-minute session, 197, and you get to come. We talk for 90 minutes, find out what you want. We're looking at where you're starting, what you want, what's in the way, what needs to be tweaked. We set you on a path with what we decide together you want to work on. Two weeks later, we recommit or uh, regather for uh, 30 minutes and we go from there, see what's working, what's not, and we'll see what you need to tweak. And it's, for $197, it's just that's a, yeah. huge. It's a fun way. Yeah. It's a really fun way for you to just get a taste of what coaching and having support could look like. Uh, it's also really rare that anybody goes away without having some kind of aha or... Mm -hmm. Well, a spark. A spark. You know, like this is your spark session plus, right? You're going to get a spark. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> see, see what I have, uh, honey? Sparks. Sparks flying right here. Uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> that is why. Please come get your spark. <laughs> yes. Oh we love this. And, you no, know, we try to limit ourselves to one one-liner in these, um, but you're going to get all of them when you do her coaching, and one of them is going to spark you, and you're just going to be off and running. And they're, they're awesome. It is fun to work from one-liners. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah, Simplifies really stick with things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, speaking of that, thank you, sponsor. Now, we're going to talk about a one-liner. Okay. This one-liner comes from Star Wars, actually, from Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. What if we really, really took that home? I mean, yeah. what if we, we said, okay, there is no try. There's do or do not. Mm -hmm. Do you think our decisions might get a little bit more stern and and committed committed i think so committed. like we've been using the word try this entire yeah. episode yes. we have but i get it yeah the try is a progress it's definitely progress from hoping but it, it can really like rubber meets the road yeah 
Yeah. And that really, when you make that shift in your thinking mm -hmm. to now I'm, I'm actually going to try, it's really, you're doing it. Yeah. 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 That's true. <laughs> it's yeah. I'm not trying anymore because I'm determined I'm and I'm yeah. committed. And, you got that plan. Yes. Yep. I it's, love it. It's I love a done it. deal. Yeah. Check it out. I love having a bank of episodes to refer to because yes. uh, the on the fence episode, one of the first ones we did is a great example of some of this lesson too. I don't remember the oh, whole sitting title. Sitting on the fence gives you splinters. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting on the fence gives you splinters. Go watch it. It's a real good. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. It's very good. All right. Now, an action step for all of this, and we're, we're going from hoping to trying. What can we do? I think what worked for you was wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, Monique chose, we were talking about being the person who, mm -hmm. and she chose to write it on her mirror. It, did you say it's arched even? Yeah. Okay, I thought you said it's arched. It, she wrote it on the mirror, who do I want to be today? Yeah. And then, and then as you went on and had more thoughts about it, you were also adding uh, different parts of that. Mm -hmm. So we're asking you to write down, I am a person who. Fill in the blank. Yeah, fill in the blank. I am a person who decides quickly. I am a person who commits to their goals. I am a person who follows through and honors my self promises. Even if it doesn't feel completely true yet, and by the way, pick something that's, that you can take in and your brain can believe. Mm -hmm. So we wanna start with uh, thoughts that, that really do serve you in that way. It's not, true. it's not I've been on the couch for six months and I'm gonna have six pack abs in three weeks. Oh gosh. Okay, that's, the, that's the, the die hard one I throw out there that gets the point across. Yes. So make sure it's, it is believable, but when you write it down, feel it, feel it in yeah. your body. Yeah, and it can be as simple as I'm the person who drinks six cups of water a day. Yeah, whatever your your goal is, whatever your goal is. Yes, um, and, and what's cool? Make it true. Yeah, what's cool though is that back of your brain is then going to start work for you because uh, uh, they're going to find a yeah, way to make that yeah, happen. It will. When you make a commitment, mm -hmm. it's amazing what happens. Mm -hmm. A true mm -hmm. commitment, and keep your belief coming alongside. Right when you write that I'm a person who the belief is a little shaky, maybe mm -hmm. just. Trust in the process, trust in yourself, trust, trust, trust. Yeah. And yes, that comes along. Your brain will go looking for the answers yeah. and ways to prove it to you. You can do like I did, put it on your mirror, put it wherever. Yep. Yeah, somewhere you can remind yourself yep. to do it. Put it in your face. <laughs> in your face. <laughs> in your face, yes. <laughs> I was like, your face, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what we have for you on the podcast today. Thanks for listening. And remember, shift happens. Shift happens. And Robin's here to help I am you. here to help. We have got all the resources, resources for you in the show notes, either here on a podcast or here on YouTube, whichever way you're listening and watching, uh, which includes the link to the Spark Session Plus. Yep. So that's awesome. Uh, and then the place you can find absolutely everything is on the website. My website is robinmcintyre.com, spelled with all I's, R-O-B-I-N-M-C-I-N-T-I-R-E. <laughs> nice. I'm <laughs> already dancing. a jingle already. Jingle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Thanks. Please help us share and grow if you get value here. Awesome. Okay. See you next time. See you next time. Ciao. <laughs>